Hi everyone, I'm Shona and this is my channel, Olivia and I. Um, I'm a first time Scottish mummy uh, living in the northeast of Scotland and I've got a daughter, Olivia. This is my next video. Um, I'm hoping now to start doing a video every Tuesday. I've been working out uh, a schedule of what, what videos I can do right up until about Christmas time and I've got some ideas for next year as well. But if there's anything you would like, um, please let me know and I will um, take note. Today's video is about newborn must-haves. Um, my daughter is four months old and so I've had a few months to sort of think what has been the most required items um, since having her, you know, the items that I really don't think I could have lived without. <laughs> so um, I'll start off with a small item um, and that's the Brother Max 6-in-1 thermometer. Um, I actually didn't buy a thermometer before she was born. I, I guess it's sort of like you think about all the things you've got to buy, all the main stuff like a pram and a car seat and you know a bath, a Moses basket and crib and all the clothes and that. But I just didn't quite enter my mind to get it. I think I kind of was in the back when it actually came to our eight week, well our first jabs. The health visitor told me you know that their temperature can flare, so I thought. I really need to get a, thor uh, a thermometer before she gets her um, eight week jabs. So I'd seen um, one of the other uh, YouTubers uh, review it and I thought it was a really good idea. So basically you just point, um, point it at your baby's head and you press the smiley face and that basically um, projects the temperature that they're at on their head and it also can do the room temperature, it can check the bath you know, food, you know, it's so versatile. It also uh, stores, um, if you're keeping an eye on your baby's temperature and you want to, you know, take a note of what everything it is, it stores um, so many temperatures. I think it's about five, which I think is a really good function. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I think, you know, when they're maybe older or they're, they're really not well, you know, keeping an eye on it, don't always have time to, you know, write things down, so th that function's a really good one. It's certainly been handy for us since we've got it. It is a pricey one. I remember at the time when I looked into it, I thought it, um, it was £60, I think it was 59 and I thought, oh, that is pricey. Um, and when I went to go into mother care to get um, something for her before her eight-week jabs, um, this was discounted, it was on sale uh, for £45. And I thought that was actually a really good deal considering that I went in to get a bath temperature, a thermometer um, and a room thermometer and you know by the time you add all of them up it can't, it probably wouldn't have been far off of that. So I thought no, we're going to go for it and it's, honestly it's used most days because we use it to check the bath, we check her temperature if she's not just feeling great, um, obviously when we come in to do food we'll be checking that. We check the room if we, you know, if we're if we're not sure what to put her in for our bed. It, honestly, it's such a versatile product, and I really, I couldn't recommend it highly enough. Definitely, definitely want to, want to go for. So that's that. The next product is um, not so much a product itself, but more a, I suppose you could say like a service. When she was born, and we tried to get her into things like the pram and the Moses basket were about a complete fail and someone had told us about white noise or I'd researched it or found it online and I was like let's give this a shot see how it goes and we downloaded an app called the Sound Sleeper app and it's now on our both our phones and on the iPad and we also bought this bear um, which is the Wisp bear I'll link all the items in the down bar below um, so you can find them if you're interested in them um, this was the first thing I ordered which when she was born to try and help her sleep because I thought maybe the the noise you know she was obviously used to a lot of noise in the womb so maybe something like that would help her relax help her sleep um, in various places like the pram or the Moses basket and it's quite a handy thing because it's got magnets it clips on it can clip onto the side of the the um, pram or the Moses basket or the cot and um, we've now got it on our cot bed um, it stays there for night time and it's literally, as soon as we go to bed, it's on. Um, and it lasts for 40 minutes um, and then it fades out and then if the if she cries, it will come back on for an extra 20 minutes. So it's a really good a good thing 
um, and it is obviously used every night. In terms of white noise, it has been an absolute godsend for us. I mean, we literally, as I say, have it on both our phones, we have it on the iPad, and we had the iPad in our Moses basket, and we have it in the crib now. Um, with the white noise on it. It sounds insane, but it's what's worked for us. Obviously, it's not in a way where she can get to it, um, and at some point we'll, we'll have to stop putting it in, but it's it just helps her sleep, obviously. Um, I've seen myself trying to shout her to sleep, my phone's in my... stuck in my bra, <laughs> you know, anything to try and help her just settle and get to sleep when she's tired but fighting it. It might not work for every baby but it's certainly worked for us and I'm sure it might would work for a, a lot of other people as well. So definitely one to consider um, if you've got a baby on the way, have a look into it. It's the Sound Sleeper app we've got. The next product is a feeding pillow. Now obviously I breastfed and I was lucky enough to get this um, from a friend. Uh, she didn't use it so she handed it to me um, and it's been an absolute godsend again. It's, feeding for me is quite tiring <laughs> and because I'm quite big I've, I have to hold myself as well as hold her so that's why it was quite tough when I was going out and about but obviously when I was in the house um, and in fact I took this to the hospital with me to have her um, so from an early age, uh, well from a new newborn age, she, she, ha she was on this and it's so handy to to just lean her on it and pretty much well if you if you're not like if you're not big like me you can use both hands but i can get away with using one hand you know to do things like eating i've seen myself various times eating over her <laughs> i'm sure sure a lot of other people are the same but it's really comfy and also um out with feeding my husband used it a lot and i've started using it a lot as well for holding her as she's getting bigger She's quite heavy to hold, even when you're in this sort of position here, there's always this like weight coming down and it's like, oh, but if you kind of jam yourself in here with her there and you can kind of lean your arms on this, it's so much more relaxing, especially when they're sleeping for, you know, hour periods at a time, you know, or when they're newborn, they're sleeping for lots longer. They're not that expensive, you know, you can probably get them from your local supermarket, I'm sure Amazon has various ones. This is a Comfort Harmony one. If I can find the link for it, I'll um, I'll put it in the down bar. But as I say, definitely really, really good for even just having them sleep in your bows. Um, I actually have had this off, this cover off and washed it because uh, it was dirty, because there was quite a few food items spilt. Because uh, try to eat with your left hand when you're right handed, it's not always easy. But um, obviously milk and that you know, a few things uh, leaking out on it, but yeah, definitely, definitely it's worth something else, even if you're not feeding. Um, the next product um, is not really baby related, but it's Vanish Gold. It was my mum that recommended this uh, a few weeks into uh, Olivia's life when we had various items of clothing, dirtied with nappies obviously, and um, she said, oh, the best thing to do would be to get some of the vanish and either steep it in water for a long period of time or, you know, you can sort of rub it against it and then put it in the wash. So it's really both of the items I do for. Um, I have a car seat cover which has had a few um, stains on it and I'm always a bit wary of washing it in the washing machine. So what I've actually done is um, it comes with a little scoop which has um, knobbly bits at the bottom. So once you mix up water and the, the powder, I just put it on top and then rub it against the, the material. And that has actually worked on the three times that she's, she's uh, made a mess of it. So I don't have to actually go and put it in the washing machine. The stains come out and I put it in, out in the, you know, the washing line just to dry out and it's perfect. Also, numerous clothes, especially the last few weeks, we've had issues with, you know, changing the formula. We've had teeth and nappies. Um, we've had nappies obviously too small. There has been so much clothes um, just wrecked. And I mean like properly like covered and people always tell me oh you know I just cut them off and bend them but um, I like to try and keep some of them especially considering some of the clothes um, are really good clothes um, 
and maybe have only been worn for the first time uh, are clean on. So I always, most of the time if it's closed, I steep it in this. Um, usually it says about four to six hours, but depending on when I get around till it next, sometimes it can be up to a whole day. Um, I kind of just leave it in the sink, let, let it steep, and then once I'm putting on a load of washing, put it in, comes out. I would say 90% of the time they come out, there's a couple items I've maybe, maybe needed to do again, um, but no, so far I've managed to get all the stains out. Um, and another tip someone told me, uh, another mum, was that the the sun, the UV rays from the sun um, actually help get rid of stains. So if you've got a, a load of washing and a couple of items have got stains on them, get them out on the line and let the sun beat down on them and you know it'll take it away and it does. I um, I remember putting out a vest that had uh, was was messy. That was the first item I'd washed it and it hadn't come off. And um, I just hung up on the line and thought, right, next when I take it in, I'll. I think I was going to give it to my mum, and then that's when my mum recommended the varnish. Uh, varnish. <coughs> and when I took it in, I was like, "Where's the stain? Did, did did I see things?" Or, but no, it was it was absolutely gone. So as I say, the sun rays do get rid of stains. Um, I'm sure not them all, because some of them are quite bad, but. Um, uh, definitely, definitely works. The last item I don't have on my because my daughter is napping and she's in it, and that is the Sleepy Head. Um, the one I've got is a Sleepy Head Deluxe Plus, so that's from newborn to eight months. We got that as a gift from um, some family to start with. Again, Olivia would not sleep in it; just she just wouldn't sleep in it at all. Now I know a lot of people use it um, in their like cribs or Moses basket but our Moses basket is really small so it wouldn't have fitted in so it, it, you know it never worked for us and then all of a sudden we moved her into the cot and we left her on her back and not a problem and then a month later we couldn't get her to sleep on her back in the cot or we could but you know it was really she would be really unsettled and waking all the time so because she had been in a side sleeper in her Moses basket, we thought let's go back to the sleepy head, put her in that, in the cot, on her side, and it worked. And that's been about a month and a half, month, month and a half now, and she's in it every night, she naps in it, she puts on, she goes on her side, she might end up on her back, but to get her sort of sleeping and settled, she likes to be on her side. And um, it's it's really has worked um, to the point that I am actually looking to get the next size up, um, the Sleepy Head Grand, um, which I know fits into the cot quite nicely. And I think she might need it soon enough because she's a long girl. She's got to be a tall girl, so obviously the width, the the length of the Sleepy Head is maybe just getting a bit small for her. So definitely looking at getting the bigger size. And I honestly. Honestly, I think it, it might be something worth looking into. Um, again, not every, not for everyone, but I know a lot of mums I've spoken to um, in my antenatal group have had one and they've got their baby sleeping in it from newborn, no bother. It's been a really, really good thing for them. So definitely something else to look into. So that's all my products. Um, I hope you liked this video. Um, give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe. Uh, we'll hopefully see you again soon. Bye!